bad part about it is you want people. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm pre-recording this because I really want to just. I want my two like my two videos I just released on YouTube and Zipcast to end on really good notes. But you know, I want this day to end on a good note. But I'm not gonna upload this until tomorrow. So, hey everybody on. Hey everybody on Wednesday, I hope you've seen this. Now, I'm not going to really make this huge or big or any kind of thing. I'm just going to say a few words. So this, mu so, this dude in New Mexico, which is shockingly close to my girlfriend, which I'm actually kind of at. At least she sees that stuff like that. But anyways, I, sw I swear, people like this... People like this is what I get mad at. Like, everybody who blames themselves for being, getting violent because they watched a TV show or a video game. And there's been there's been two stories this year about that. Like, one person said, he, you know, he killed and murdered these people because he played violent video games and robbed their house because violent video games, violent video games taught him how. And now this motherfucker. You know, you know, it's assholes like you that make it hard for the regular pe make it hard for the regular people to actually to make it hard for gamers and people who watch TV and fiction to be taken seriously. Because you assholes have deeper rooted seated deep seated reasons for why you do what you do. But instead of actually going to a therapist and actually, at, and actually taking care of something like this. No, blame it on the video games. Blame it on the TV. It doesn't. Yes, it's it's okay. It's a you know. So I can be free from blame. Let me tell you. So, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Want to be motherfuckers? Something. You're not free from blame because you know you did it. You still did it. You can you can make any excuse you want, and stupid assholes. Excuse me. And stupid assholes, stupid assholes in our society can eat it up like fucking cake and candy, because we live in a society where everybody's all triggered and stupid because they can't, they can't use their, f like Alpha says, they can't use their fucking head meat for shit. And basically, there it is. This is this is why. This is why I do what I do. This is why I rant because not because other than Alpha and a few others, no one would talk about this. Like and probably like if it wasn't for Pro Mario, Alpha, myself, a few other people. A few other people that specialize in rants, no one would talk about this. Or maybe one person would talk about this, and I barely trust the news when stories like this go down. Because they'll always be like, Walking Dead is so bad. And you know, the politicians would jump on this too, because mm, they need something to get pe have people get their votes. And yeah, I'm going, yeah, I'm going a little political, because happiness is... <laughs> I'm thinking of just putting this on Zipcast if I run on for too long. But, you know, I don't really, like, seriously, guys. I'm thinking. I don't really have, like, I don't have a lot of opinions when it comes to politics and very, and beach religion, but maybe, may I'll do a Zipcast thing, just writing about the various things I just don't like in the world. Not an ultimate rant, but something I could just do. But I, you know, I really hate this kind of shit when it happens. Because, motherfucker, you can look, like, you would look me up in the eyes and tell us, and give us that fucking bullshit-ass story. You kill that motherfucker for something else. You know, we know it. The whole fucking world knows it. But, you know, like I said, a lot of people are going to be like, Ooh, Walking Dead. I'm going to be like, Oh, are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Did you wake up today and just say, Hmm, let's, let's be, let me be more ironic as possible. 
let me blame something that really has no bearing on a person's actual psyche except for the ones that are fucked up in the head. And I don't even think this motherfucker is. I think he would use it as an excuse because that's the way things are going nowadays. Every person comes and robs a freaking place killing, killing a family, blame it on the video games. Someone freaking killed, killed their, killed their buddy after watching Walking Dead, blame it on the show. See? But, that's the thing. This motherfucker, I, and I don't care if he believes this, I don't care if he believes in sanity. Motherfucker, you're guilty. If I, if I was running, <laughs> trust me, motherfuckers, if I was running, if I was running courts, every motherfucker that has done something similar to this, and even those people that sold their kids, um, just for video game money, and that one dude that killed his baby because he was too, because it was too loud while he was playing a game, all those motherfuckers would be getting the death sentence. And you know what I'd do? You wanna know what I'd do? Before I would technically let them be in the electric, electric chair or whatever we use. Well, not the electric chair, maybe the electric chair. I would be like, motherfuckers, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Oh, it was? Okay, put them in the chairs. Fuck it. They're done. And I wouldn't even bat a fucking eye to this. Not a little bit. Because, peeps... We shouldn't be we shouldn't be fucking killing each other, man. We shouldn't. We shouldn't be killing babies. We shouldn't be selling our kids off for like for like freaking video game money. You know? But that's how people are and I know the world's a fucked up place. But guys, that doesn't mean we have to be fucked up along with everything else. We don't have to be these we don't have to be the idiots. We don't have to be. We don't have to be the violent at and gamers. We don't have to be the violent assholes that the freaking news makes us out to be because we all know who we are as people. And also, CNN for saying that anime is basically porn, child pornography. Fuck you and your entire network. I hope. And I don't know if Ted would be okay with that. I'm not uh, I'm trying to say it would be. But fuck CNN. Fuck it hard. Fuck it so hard it's false teeth falls out. Oh my god. That, that was like years of just anger. Oh, and if Anita Sharkeesian ever comes on the news, fuck her too. For various reasons. Not because, of, not because she's a woman. I'm an equal opportunity ranter, and Anita. Other than the whole, other than you being the the most biggest asshole in the world when it comes to gaming and the thorn of most gamer side, be they male or female. What about that stuff you promised on your fucking Kickstarter? You were supposed to have like a series of videos out, like. Like a year ago, and uh, only half of those things are done. People gave their money for what exactly? For what exactly? Just so you could, just so you could put her, put her around for people's money. And what kills me is that you ask for even more money. Oh man! Again, guys. Don't listen, don't listen to the people, don't listen, like, listen to the news, but when they say, like, when they blame a particular thing, or, when they blame a particular thing, or, or a TV show, or video game, or whatever, or sh just any kind of show, or any video game, any book, and they're just showing the negatives, and talking about the negatives, and not talking about the positives, 
fuck them. And everybody, everybody that had a problem with Harry Potter back in the day, and and also burned some books, fuck you guys too. But far be it from them to actually enjoy... To actually enjoy a book about a fucking wizard without you religious nuts acting all nuts. I wanted to say that for years. It's okay to be religious, but if you act like a fucking religious asshole and always be and always act like you're so high and mighty, you're so higher than thou. That's that just makes me hate you even more because you're not. You're on the same plane as all of us in the world. You're not. <laughs> you're not. It's not gonna give you extra points of getting heaven. Hell, I think it's gonna make it even worse. <sighs> with all that said, with all that said, I would like to say, Alpha, keep doing, keep doing what you do best, dude. I hope you go to I hope you go to fucking prison and I hope I hope Big Bubba stretches out your anal cavity so much you freaking bleed out. There, I'm done. Ugh, that felt good. That's what happens when you don't rant on the wild kids. You let you let shit build up and then you just kinda let it go. And oh yeah. Jet the freaking gem movie sucked big noodles, but I will talk about that tomorrow. I will talk about that tomorrow. Or when you're watching this, it'll probably be out. It'll probably be an hour from now. Or hell, maybe even right on the heels of this video. So, who knows? But yeah, I will talk about Jim and the Holograms later in a later video and. The shitty, well, if you want a little bit more of what I'm talking about, watch Pan's review, because it pretty much shows what I'm talking about. Alright, I'm done, kids, I am done. Uncle, Uncle Bugsy is done, I just want to chill. See you guys, see you guys in a few hours, or, or at least while I'm recording this, see you tomorrow tomorrow, even though I'm going to probably upload this tomorrow, even though I'm probably going to upload this tomorrow, but you guys probably won't notice because, you will know now because I've been, you know, because I said it, but I'm done, see you guys later, oh, man, that felt good.